Hi everybody, it's Caroline here and I have a little um, bit of a different video for you today. I've just finished working with the February Best of Both Worlds kit and I'm about to start working with the March kit but I thought before I started following along with the challenges that I would show you my 12 by 12 album so far because this is the first year for quite a while that I've been working inside a 12 by 12 album um, and I'll show you what I've got left of the February kit. It's not enough really to make a page unless I throw a lot of extra things from my stash but I have an idea of how I could use it up so I'll show you um, that and then the second part of this video will be me unboxing my March kit which is slightly different from the one that Shamel has put together because although I purchased quite a lot for it <laughs> um, I couldn't find all of the products so I swapped in a few um, different things so I'll show you those. So the this album doesn't just have the um, Best of Both Worlds kit it does have some um, items from other suppliers and different products this is using the renew kit from tracy reed designs this was actually a printable kit but worked really really well i love this page every time i open my album and i see this page i just love it um anyway i'll just um flip through very quickly and show you um, particularly the february um the february kit prod um layout so these are all january still january so this was a february kit although the story is january it's from the february kit so very different um, but because this is a white background page it feels that it goes really nicely together and uh, that's the january kit tracy reed um, those are both february kits so they are very different styles um, I have a feeling my little kitty is about to walk onto, the, onto my page. So I'll just pop her down. <laughs> Hi, Safi. <laughs> so she is definitely going to be back. So I will try to get through this section quickly. And apologies for any little background noise. Uh, so these are the February kit. Um, I've got two pages here, which I won't open up because they have got other children's faces on them. But two more pages there. Then these two so this is the february kit this is the new kit from tracy reed designs felicity which i love but in the album they look very different like really different and normally would that bother me i don't think it would but because i have some stash left from the february kit i thought i would put in a divided page protector which i've already trimmed down of three six by four pockets and on this side because I've got so many stories from this um, weekend away which both of these sets of photos were taken from I can add in some additional photos here and use the Felicity kit and then on this side additional photos or additional journaling and use my, up my scraps from the February kit so I've actually got one more February um, layout there and a space here for a different story with a different kit. <laughs> so let me pop this down, probably disturb Safi again, so she will have a lot to say. So I've got lots of alphas left, which is fine because they'll just go into my stash. I've got a few of the background papers left, but these won't actually, they are part of the kit, but they're in a kind of add-on. So I'm not rushing to use these up. Those have been a fantastic addition to my stash. So I'm really happy to have some of those left. Um, not very many stickers left at all. So always going to struggle with this one because of the spelling of the word favourite. So I will use this, but build up an embellishment cluster on top of it. Uh, macaroons, which I am actually saving that sticker because I always have macaroons for my birthday, which is at the end of March. So I'll, I know I've got this sheet. So I'm not gonna cut this sheet up. I'm just gonna leave this as is, knowing that I've got that sticker to use. And I may well incorporate that because the colors just look so nicely together. So probably won't use any of this on that divided page protector. Um, if anything, uh, key to my heart and the cherish word bits there that's probably the only thing um, but I have this six by four card which I'll be able to put into that divided page protector I have this piece of my favorite paper which is just shy of six by four so that doesn't matter because I'll be able to use some of these scraps if I've got anything that's the right 
yeah I could use something to just make that six by four um uh, so I've got those left this here is just scraps of paper so just a few pieces this I was using to um fussy cut out the hearts so I've actually got a few of those over here that I didn't fussy cut out these are just strips of paper scraps that I could punch out of and then some of those I always just get, I always get so confused with the um with the shape hexagons <laughs> some of those hexagons left so potentially with with a sheet of cardstock or some of that background paper I could well create another layout with this but I am as I said going to use it to um certainly these two pieces and a couple of the embellishments use them in that divided page protector and then will I keep small scraps of paper like this no I won't is that a waste possibly um I'll see I'll see so um I'm, I am going to just kind of put all of this into a little baggie I think that I've got so that I've got it all together when I work on that divided page protector later on in the month so now what I'm going to do is put on oh, I've got these left as well which I put pop dots on the back of so I'll stick those in there um so now I am going to pop this away and pull out the March products that I purchased and talk you through those. Okay, so this is the March kit that I'm going to be working with. There's a lot of pink fresh in here, which I love. So uh, this sheet here was one that was recommended by Chamel. I'm going to go through the 12 by 12 papers first. So this was recommended by Chamel. It is pink fresh life right now. And this one is time to chill. So teacups teapots, tea bags, everything like that, coffee on the um, one side and a muted navy polka dot on the other. So I'll definitely use, want to use both sides of this one, I think, somehow. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, this one was recommended by Chamel. This one is Echo Park Day in the Life. Um, she actually recommended two versions of the Echo Park this year and last year. Um, I'm not actually sure which one this is, um, but this is the only one that I could get hold of. So this is the 2021, uh, which I'm actually really pleased with because it's got this rainbow print on the back, which I love. Um, so I will be struggling to not want to just use the rainbow print, but lots of great cut parts on that side. So again, this was in that original Best of Both Worlds kit. Spring uh, spring Vibes collection from Pink Fresh. Um, I know that Chamel's actually used this on her first layout with this kit. So this is one that she recommended. A, a striped design on the one side and then this painterly splattery on this side. So I really like this one. Um, but I, like that. I, I loved seeing how Chamel used this side. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. Another one from Spring, spring Vibes. This one's Daydreams. And this one, I can't remember whether she actually recommended this one. Hmm, I think she didn't. So I think I added this one in as an extra because I liked this pink, um, pink stripe. So that's one that I must have added in. Um, pink fresh, another pink stripe. So I'm not sure what I did what happened then uh, but this one is ah oh, that's why so this one is spring vibes so this one is make memories and was definitely one that Chamel recommended um lots and lots of cut parts here um so I will be using these boxes and I think I probably put that in because I knew that I was going to be a bit lost to not have that lovely pink stripe in the background so that's those two and that is all that Chanel put in for the 12 by 12 um sheets that I am aware of so she actually used a recommended a six by six paper pad um that I couldn't get hold of so the one that Chamel recommended um was I think the best day I'll, I'll put a, a link to her um YouTube videos anyway but I'm fairly sure it was the best day uh, but I've actually put in life right now and spring vibes because now, a I'm greedy and b um why not <laughs> <laughs> so um I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna tear these open I've got my scissors nearby um but I haven't worked with six by six pads for absolutely ages um and I thought why not so I've got both of those um and I'm, I know I'm gonna work I'm gonna enjoy working with these because I often work in a six by eight album as well it's one of the uh, most of my stories go into a six by eight album so I'll be able to use these in those so then the sticker sheets again I've added in a lot of extra <laughs> 
So Shamel recommended these ones. These are Pink Fresh Flower Market and these are layered stickers. I nearly didn't put these in because they are quite expensive, um, but I wanted to give it a go. I've just noticed they've stuck this one on upside down, which is quite entertaining. Don't think you see that look. Like you are loved is upside down. So I'll have to um, pull that one off. That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure I can fix it. Um, so layered stickers from a flower market. Then I have got three sets of cardstock stickers. So Spring Vibes, Flower Market and Good Times. These are all pink fresh. And I'm trying to remember which ones Chamel recommended. I'm fairly sure she is working. Yes, yeah, she is. She is working with the Good Times one. So these, there's quite an autumn vibe with this one. Um, yeah. So this must have been their autumn collection, falling leaves, autumn, look, and there's, there's the, the leaves and the colour palette. So because it's spring, um, that's why I actually chucked in the spring vibes one as well, because it's spring where I am at the moment. So I know I'm going to have lots of springy pictures. And I put in the flower market because I'd already got um, those layered stickers and I just wanted, I, I felt um, a bit forlorn in uh, February because there weren't very many embellishments so I've overcompensated this month with probably far 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 too many stickers um and then this was an extra to me um never used pink fresh um alphas before I was amazed when I just turned it over and I saw there was a different color on the back brilliant so loads of choice for um for alphas this month actually Chamel recommends that people stash dive for their alphas um so i'm going to just use this one i think um and then the only things that i am missing are some 12 by 12 stickers from the um, echo park day in the life i couldn't find those um, but that's why i actually put in these extra pink fresh ones so i still had lots to choose from and also I opted not to buy the enamel dots, the Good Times enamel dots, because I have got a lot of enamel dots. Um, so that's what I'm going to stash dive for for March. I'm going to pull in from my own um, stash. Um, looking at this, I'm sure I'm missing some 12 by 12 papers, but I can't be. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think that it just... Yeah, it just seems that there's not a lot of paper, but then you have to remember that um, there was a, 12, a six by six pad and actually I threw in two. So I have got lots. Um, I think I'm just going to have to bring in some cardstock because there's not a lot of backgrounds here unless I do some um, quadrant pages, you know, with the, the four bits. So we'll see. We'll see. Um I might actually just pull through, go through the palettes of the collection. Might use this as a, as a good example. And maybe this here to pull in some cardstock and see if I've got any of those tiny, because I didn't buy a Doodlebug background um, kit collection. I don't know, paper pack um, this time, but I have got some left from the February one. So before I put that away, I might actually see if any of the colours match well with this and pull those in um, and maybe just get a few um, just background papers that I could use um, with this. I've got quite a few pink fresh papers in my stash, so some of those will probably go together. So that is the March kit. I'm really looking forward to getting working with it. Really, really am. Um, Chanel's already posted one of her challenges so far which as I said she used this sheet here so I'll see I might actually be a bit fangirly and just follow along and pretty much copy what she does on the first one but with my own photo we'll see um, so I hope this was interesting to you um, I will certainly share the video when I put together that six by four um, pocket page using up the February kit and I will definitely be sharing all of my March videos on YouTube and the finished products on my Instagram channel. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you don't already, please subscribe. That would be really, really wonderful. And if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments and I will respond. So thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.